Hey guys, welcome to my first get ready with me tutorial kind of style video. This is just going to be a very, very, very low key get ready with me video so I can get used to my new camera. I can get used to filming here again. I can get used to everything um, and just kind of take the stress off of it being my first makeup video back on here. You guys haven't seen makeup like this from me. Um, hi <laughs> how are you guys doing this is me this is me three years later five years later from when you guys last knew me a lot has changed life has changed but i hope you guys follow my new journey i hope you guys enjoy this video follow my socials linked below and enjoy all right let's see what are we going to talk about tonight let me fill you guys in on where i've been um i, I whenever i make these videos where i'm like oh i'm gonna start posting on youtube again um i'm gonna have a comeback i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do that I always end up posting a video, maybe two videos, maybe three videos, and then I don't post anymore. And it's not because I don't want to post, because honestly, posting here makes me happy. Uh, we're going to use this one. If it focuses, you guys know what this is. You all know. Um, but it's not because YouTube doesn't make me happy or anything. It's just I feel so insecure when I'm trying to film here. Um, I haven't really done like continuous filming here since becoming a mom. Um, I used to be very active over here and it was fun man I was like so motivated all the time I'd wake up and like be so excited to film for that day and I would always have like video ideas planned out way ahead and it was just always so much fun and then um, I kind of fell off of it when I got pregnant and then I just never really quite made my way back every time I would go to film a new video um, I would start to film it and I'd be like Man, like, I hate the way I look. Uh, I've gained weight since I've last been on here. I, um, just, just everything. Um, super insecure all the time. So, I just didn't really want to film here. Not to mention, it takes a lot more time to film a video here than it does on, like, the live streaming short video platforms I'm on. Um, you guys could follow me on TikTok and a platform called Likey if you guys want to. The Likey platform is my main one. That's the account that I'm verified on. I have my biggest following on that platform. We just hit 1.53 mil the other day, which was really exciting. Um, but yeah, just this took so much more time and with like a new kiddo, even though she's three now, like it's been three years, um, it's still very time consuming. And then I'm also doing a lot of other things that is very time consuming, like I'm completely work from home. Um, which is amazing because I don't have to like go to work just to pay for like childcare or something like that. I'm very blessed to have been able to figure out a way to work from home. Honestly, like I was determined to figure out a way to work from home because not only did like, I don't know, honestly working out in public made my anxiety so, so, so bad. So I just, I hated doing it. Like I remember I used to be an assistant store manager um, at a shoe store and I remember I would arrive to work. Um, and almost every day I would arrive feeling so nauseous literally just because I was so anxious and I didn't really know how to control my anxiety um, as much back then as I do now like I still definitely don't have it under control but it's you know way better than um, before guys let me fix my brows really quick because I feel like I can't focus on my brows my brows are like the hardest thing to focus on let me do this and then I will start recording again all right, so I touched up the brows a little bit. Um, that is like another thing that kind of worries me when it comes to like filming here is I still struggle with my anxiety like really bad. Um, we're gonna put some concealer on the, well, I'm gonna carve on my brow with it, pull it down over my eyelid, and then I'll start with the eyeshadow. Um, but one of the things that makes me like worry is I get super nervous when I'm talking to the camera for some reason. When I'm talking to my phone or I'm talking to hundreds of people in my life it like it doesn't feel the same as when I'm sitting here alone with the camera because like I'm alone in my thoughts I'm alone like criticizing everything I do um you know like when I'm live I get people who are constantly like hyping me up and cheering me on and stuff and like I don't really sit and think about like oh I look weird doing this or like oh I'm not doing this right or, you know like I don't know it's just completely different and then over here I just get super like hyper focused on everything like if I mess up what I'm saying I will feel really bad about it like if I stutter because I just can't get out what I'm trying to say like it stresses me out so there's a lot of like little hurdles I'm gonna have to overcome when it comes to being back active here but I freaking miss it here and I want this to be a space that I'm active on again I want to be 
back on my YouTube game and <laughs> start working over here since I've been doing so good everywhere else I go to. Like, I just keep telling myself, what if the success I've had on these other platforms, what if I did that here? Like, I could I could have already been established by now and stuff. So, you know, I'm, I'm done wasting time. I'm done, like, being hypercritical of myself and we're just going to do it. And, um... I'm just gonna kind of go with it because honestly most of the time like yeah you get your trolls but most of the time online people tend at least with me people tend to be way nicer than I think they're going to be like in my head I'm like oh people are gonna like comment about my weight or people are gonna comment about me I don't know like whatever reason I make up in my head and then when it comes down to it it ends up being way more support in the comments than anything else and then I just like don't do stuff for no reason um, anyways, next thing we are going to do is we are going to use this. Guys, this is one of my favorite freaking palettes. Um, my husband actually picked it out for Christmas. I had nothing to do with it. Um, he picked it out for Christmas. And look at the freaking colors. So we're going to be using this color today. We also might use this to deepen um, up the outer corner. And we're going to use a color from the Jawbreaker palette from Jeffree Star. And we're going to use either this green or this bluish green to blend out the color. So that's just kind of a heads up on what we're doing um, in case you are like following along. But comment below, let me know what you guys are doing. Like, are you actually, hold on, see? That's another thing, like I can do my makeup pretty good most of the time, okay? But when I'm filming, sometimes I will rush stuff or I'll try to do it a different way and I just completely end up failing because I'm like either trying to do it too quick or you know, whatever. So, if this one flops, guys, don't judge me. <laughs> Go check out my Instagram. I swear I can, I can do makeup. Uh, but comment below, guys. Let me know what you guys are doing right now. Are you guys doing your makeup with me? Are you cleaning? Are you just binge-watching YouTube videos? Are you a fan of mine? Are you from Likey? Are you, you know, let me know. Let me know who you guys are in the comments. Because it's really nice to see you guys um, across different platforms. It makes me feel really good to know that I'm worthy of you guys finding me elsewhere and following me elsewhere. You know, it's it's really exciting for me. Okay, so I'm just going through, it's not a full tutorial style video guys, but I am just going through and pressing basically the shape that I want this to be um, with the darker color. And I'm not going all the way into the corner when I do that because I feel like when I do that I kind of draw it too far I don't know, I just don't like how it ends up looking when I start blending. I feel like it ends up getting weird. Alright, so we did that and we need... I should have pulled all my brushes ahead of time. We're going to use this one. Yeah, we're just going to use this one. I don't know if the brushes really matter, guys. Honestly, it's all preference. In my opinion, it's all preference. Alright, so we're going to go in with that, that bluish one. That's the one we're going to go with. That one right there. Um, But I feel like you can pretty much do... A lot of people will think like you have to have high-end products to do like really good makeup and stuff and although there are some products that I definitely would splurge more on than others um, I don't think it's necessarily true I think you can pull off really bomb makeup with minimal products I've always it's like I've come from no money like literally nothing okay um, I've always been able to make do out of like random stuff like using this product in a different way than it's intended for or whatever so like I feel like you guys if you guys are just starting out and you guys are like, well, I don't have a lot of makeup, so I can't, like, do a really cool look like that, you probably can. Like, you probably just are talking yourself out of it. Maybe you're afraid to start. Maybe you're afraid to fail. You know, whatever it is. Maybe you're just kind of talking yourself out of it. Um, but, yeah, guys, let me speed this up. I'm going to do this and speed it up because I feel like I will blend for an hour and this will be a very long video. It'll be a very boring video, too. So let me speed this up time lapse style and stick with me. Oh, a quick little tip. I'm using this palette. Um, honestly, I'm just using it because it has the perfect shade in it. This one right here. Um, if you guys have issues blending this color out with your brow bone and stuff, or you just don't have the time to sit there and blend, if you use like a color that is very similar to your skin tone, you just kind of like blend it right on the outside. It will soften all the edges and you'll have to spend less time um, blending. This is what I do most of the time, especially when I'm not like doing it like to be super precise or anything. Um, it definitely works. Oh, a little tip for this also. If you look straight into a mirror and you tap the brush, like literally right where your eyelid meets the top of your eye, or you can put the, the concealer here and you can look up. It'll do the same thing. It'll kind of give you a little imprint. But if you do that, look straight and then draw that line for your cut crease. 
then when you have your eyes open and you're looking straight the way you are most of the time, you'll still be able to see the design on your lid. Um, especially if you have hooded light eyes, sometimes like this is a crease in my eye, but I need to make that crease higher. Otherwise, you're not going to see it when it's on um, my eye. So that's a little tip for you guys. finger to kind of blend it all out um, get rid of any product that sticks to your finger but then you can like go over the edges and it'll blend the edge in really good so I kind of do that with my finger and then I'll take that brush that I use clean the end of that brush off yes guys you'll see me wiping my brushes on my hands or my fingers a lot so if that grosses you out, I'm sorry but my hands are clean well they're not clean anymore because they got makeup all over them but um, I do clean my hands before um, I do my makeup Everything I do, guys, might not be the right way by a lot of people, um, but this is just true to how I do it. I'm not going to be phony and use brushes when where I wouldn't normally be using brushes. So, all right, we got that on the lid. Um, honestly, I think we're just going to throw that glitter color right on top of it. Did I use a color before when I did this? I'm trying to remember what I did before and see if like try to like literally recreate the same thing. Actually, guys, we're gonna put a we're gonna set that concealer with that white color right there. It's like one of the most true white colors I have. Um, and that too, I will put on my finger. I will put it on the lid where like the lid is big just to kind of like press it in there and then I'll take a brush and then go in where like the curve is just to kind of get that more precise and just kind of like pat it down in and then kind of go over the edges like that. It's just personally what I thought works for me. Again, if you take that darker color that you had in the crease, which is that color right there, um, I take a little bit on my finger and then I lightly just rub back and forth on the edge of that color I just put on there. And it helps to blend the two colors together. Again, that's the easiest way I do. Some people would use a brush. I don't feel like you really need to necessarily, so I don't. Let's go in and do a little bit darker color. You remember that teal color I said? That one right there. I'm going to go through and just put that very, very lightly on the outer corner just to make it, I don't know, a little bit more dimension. Literally just out there and very, very lightly. guys by the way these are like my favorite colors when it comes to makeup this and like dark purple I love it right, so we're just gonna do that because I feel like that just makes it different and it looks good next thing we're going to use is this steel glitter guys this one is the color whatever color that is this stuff is amazing guys honestly all of the um, steel and we're gonna use a brush to apply this again just because I don't want to get the green on this uh, stick but um, all of these steel glitters are freaking amazing. The first one I ever used was, the color was Bronzed Bell. I have never, I, like I, I haven't gotten a sense because um, it was just like, I don't know, I just didn't want to spend the money on it to be honest. Um, even though it was amazing, like had nothing to do with, you know, that, it was literally just money. Um, anyways, it was like the best one. And then these ones I all got when they're on like sale, so that's why I got these ones and not that one. But regardless, it was amazing. It was so, so, so good. It was the most shimmery, glittery toppers I've ever had. Um, and man, it was just amazing. So if you guys have that one, comment below and like let me know. Do you agree? Best glitter ever. Um, it worked really, really good for my eye color too. All right, we're going to speed this up probably too. All right, what's next? What's next? I'm ready to play. We're going to go in with a white. It does not matter what one. I'm going to go in with a white eyeshadow and just kind of blend up by the brow bone. You know that way, that way it makes my brow boy, brow, <laughs> my brow boy shine. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm just gonna put that up here. It's because it's bright enough, but it's not like stark white. You know, I should just save all the time to mess up my words and like <laughs> make some sort of compilation of it. Uh, man, all right, guys, we got this. Now we're gonna go and do the eyeliner. Guys, my favorite all-time eyeliner in the whole freaking world was this one right here. I was from the brand Essence. It is freaking amazing. Um, I don't know. Some people might think that the... K. 
can't open it. <laughs> Some people might think that the applicator is like too big, like too thick. It's kind of curvy. Don't don't mind me. Um, but I, it's just such a good formula. It's like jet black. It's not shiny. It's so good. Um, and I went to repurchase this one because this one's kind of dried up. Um, I went to repurchase it and I could not find that one. So I don't know if this is the new remake of it. And I've been using this one for a little bit, but the applicator is so much different. The applicator is very small on this one. Which is, it's cool, but it's like, it's not the same, and I'm so sad. Let me know if you guys um, see that, this one anywhere. Like, I just, I don't know if they discontinued it or what it is, but um, let me know if I can still get it, because I can look again. Maybe I just didn't look long enough. very unsteady hands which you'll see me like grabbing my hand with my other hand um, to keep it from shaking maybe it's all the coffee but oh and everybody who compliments my eyeliner um, still to this day I struggle with my eyeliner so if you guys struggle with your eyeliner and you're like oh I'm not good at makeup because like I can't do my liner liners hard it's freaking hard like I mess up on the daily when it comes to eyeliner I just cover it with lashes but uh don't feel bad if you guys oh I also have to take my liner and like rub it right on the base of my lashes because my lashes are blonde and when I put mascara on it doesn't I, I can't coat the top of it right um so it always shows so I always have to put the liner on the top of my lashes too is it okay <laughs> all right we're gonna go with that hopefully it's not like too captain hooky you know all right let's uh get some mascara on and then I think I'll do the other eye off camera and then I'll come back and do the face because I do the face last because if any of the eyeshadow falls down, I can just wipe it off before I put the foundation on. So that's just my preference. I know a lot of people who do um, foundation and face first and then they do their eyes. I just do it differently. I'm not like other girls. Anyways. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm going to do the other eye off camera and then I will be back. So I just went in and matched the other eye as close as I could anyways. We're going to go in with the face makeup and then I will do the eyeshadow underneath as well as the lashes. So the foundation I've been using is the CoverGirl True Blend. Honestly, my go-to foundation for the longest time was this one right here. But the shade doesn't currently match me and I needed a foundation ASAP the other day and um, or actually the other week and I, I just went with this one and honestly it's good I used to use it all the time but between this one and that foundation the best okay um, when it comes to drugstore anyways alright so we're gonna use this foundation and we're gonna use a sponge because that is how I apply my foundation I used to be all about using brushes and I don't even know when that changed but we might time lapse this too, just so you guys don't sit here and watch me blending for an hour. <laughs> guys, I don't wear this much makeup on a regular basis, honestly. I'm so used to filming and putting my makeup on strictly for filming or live streaming. So that's why my makeup tends to be um, a little bit heavier when it comes to like just everyday wear. Like if it looks like something I wear every day, it's probably not. Um, most of the time, you guys will find me without any makeup at all. Or I will put makeup on simply just to film or go live and I will wash it off right after. <laughs> I like putting the concealer right under the wing right there. I feel like it lifts everything really nicely. You can go in with a brush to kind of blend that out a little bit more precisely, but I've gotten fairly good at just like blending right underneath it and not really messing with it too much. Like messing up the liner. All right, does it look good? It looks all right, all right, all right. All right, guys, the powder I've been using for a while is this one. Honestly, um, this is from uh, Revolution, but it's kind of all worn out. Um, the Laura Mercier's translucent setting powder guys although it's expensive is freaking amazing um that is my favorite setting powder I've ever used but this is just the one I use all the time now because I do my makeup every single day and it uses a lot of products so I'd rather just use this and not like waste that product you know unless it's for like you know more special occasions or when I'm actually like wearing the makeup out of the house um otherwise I don't like to really waste my product I'm going in with my sponge just to press those lines back down, you know, hide my age. And then I'm using a really fluffy brush just to lightly sweep the... Do you just see that fly? It just dive-bombed me. Alright, I think we're good. We're gonna go in with that dark... Well, actually, this is the crease color. I'm just gonna start blending it down. Honestly, I could use a different brush, but this brush already had the product on it. So I'm hoping I can kind of just make do with this.
That fly is hanging around, guys. You can tell the crease color. And then I'm going to go in with the... We're bringing that really far down because I feel like I, I always stop really tight to my eye. I know we're going in with that dark teal color that you guys see me put on the outer corner. I'm just going to put it on the outside and as close to my lash line as I can. Alright guys, so we're going to go back in with this palette again and we're going to... You know what one we're going to dip into. You can see it. So we're going to use that one. I like to use this um, Patrick Ta brush. Um, honestly guys, this... I used to sweep my contour on. like I would like blend like this. Um, with a different shape brush but now um, I use this brush and I literally just press it in and I press it press it right on top of my cheekbone like slightly under but like right on top pretty much to help lift the face when I started pressing it in instead of dragging it it definitely helped because my foundation wasn't getting pulled around um, so if that fly comes back here one more time you guys can probably see it you can probably see it it's just flying around just hanging in there I want to be in the video too. But we are gonna, you know, get the, the turkey gobbler down here. We're gonna contour that. <laughs> oh man. <clears throat> I mean, you guys can totally subscribe right now. You don't have to finish watching, just subscribe. Honestly, though, in all seriousness, I would love it if you guys subscribe because I am trying to be new and come back over here and uh, I'd really appreciate the support. We're gonna use the Seate London. Um, the color is Halo. This one's pretty, so we're gonna use this. Pretty, pretty simple. Guys, my hands are so dirty now. If you just seen that, honestly, I've just been wiping my makeup brushes on my hands. Um, like, not my makeup, my concealer. You know what I mean. It doesn't matter. Um, hate if you're gonna. Please don't, but, uh, yeah. I use this duo glue, the green one. Um, and what I do, guys, a little tip, because I know a lot of people do struggle with lashes. Don't comment on my nails. I know. Um, I like this one because I like the applicator on it. It has like a little brush at the end. Anyways, but I don't use it like this. I take it and just kind of use the tube side of it actually. And I, if I had more product on it, hold on, I just wiped it off. Anyways, I'll like rub that tube along the lash band. Because then it doesn't over apply the glue. So we're going to give it a second to get tacky, guys. The reasons you want it to get tacky is because if you just go ahead and try to throw this on your eyelash, um, it's just going to flop around. It's not going to, it's going to pop up and you're going to have to like keep sitting there and messing with it. And the more times you sit there and mess with it, the more you're going to like mess up the eyeliner or your makeup or, um, the lash in general. So this one's cool too, because it goes on white and it turns blue when it's ready to be applied. All right, so let's do this. I also normally use tweezers. Hopefully I don't scare you guys. I also kind of start with the outside of my eye first. Set it into place where I want it and then I work on the inner corner and then I crimp them all together. I know that probably looks terrifying to you guys but so these tweezers are kind of curved and I, I like that because then I don't like stem my eyeball you know. You just kind of go up the lash line and crimp both sets together. Guys, lashes make such a difference. Like, the reason I wear lashes every single time I do a bold look now is because this side just looks incomplete. And then this side just looks like, bam, like it has a boom, you know? Um, so that's why I'm always wearing lashes now. And the mascara I'm using, guys, um, it's just another one from Essence. They're good. Um, I use this one or the blue one. Just kind of depends what one's in stock. Honestly, I'm not super picky when it comes to mascara anymore. Um... Because mainly when I'm doing my makeup, it's for filming and I'm wearing fake lashes. So I don't really need anything crazy for mascara. Boom! Alright, what's next? Highlight. We've got to do highlight, guys. I'm actually going to try a new highlight because Pixie sent me the most amazing PR package in the world. And um, I think my vlog, my next vlog might come out before this video comes out. We'll see. But if you guys watch that vlog when it comes out, um, it's probably going to be called like vlog number two, like something vlog number two. You'll see the package, the PR package, is freaking insane. It was amazing. So we got this, um, this palette. It was a collab. So we're going to open this one up. I haven't swatched any of these because I knew as soon as I swatched it, it wouldn't be new anymore. And uh, that made me sad. So, but we're going to swatch it. Ooh, so this is a palette. I like this because you you can see what's in it. You don't have to like be like, oh, what colors do the blah, blah, blah. what colors does this palette have again? Oh my lord. Um, so I think we're gonna swatch a few on my hands really quick because um, all right, we're gonna swatch. I think 
I want to swatch this one, this one, and this one. I think that one right there is going to be the one I wear on my face today. So this is the lightest. Ooh. <laughs> All right, so this is the lightest one. Let's put it. Oh. Oh, oh. Okay. Okay. So this is, I thought it was going to be like a, a white, like a pure white. Do you see that? It's like a gold reflect. What? That is trippy. It doesn't look reflective in the pan. The next one is that more champagne -y one, and then we'll do that more pinker one, pinker one after. Now I'm like, are all these gonna like transition to two different shimmers? All right, so I like this one, maybe a slight pink reflect in it. This one's my favorite so far, because that's like what I kind of normally go for. Um, and then let's do that more pinky one. We'll keep it like this so it's all focused. Ooh, I really like that one too. I actually thought that one was going to be darker than it is. Ooh, that's gorgeous. All right, so I think I'm going to use this one. We're going to use that one, okay? Let's use... I'm going to use this brush, guys, because why not? I don't like just go... And it's all like shiny. Okay, let's do this. Starting off light, y'all, I'm like lightly doing it, okay? Oh, we shiny, shiny. Okay, let me uh, get some more product over here. I think I'm gonna wipe off my brush. <laughs> let me wipe off my... No! <laughs> I gouged it. It just wants us to swatch that one too. So let me get it out from underneath my nail <laughs> and onto my hand. Oh man, poor, poor highlighter. I'm so sorry, palette. I'm so sorry. That's gorgeous. You're gorgeous too, darling. I mean, I, it, is it, it is like almost my skin tone, just like an orangey version of it. Oh man, okay. Sorry. I'm just trying to clean my brush. I'm blending that out a little bit. I like to be shiny, so it doesn't really matter how bright it is though. Guys, that's pretty, that's shiny. And I wasn't even like trying to stack that up, like make that super bright. That one's shiny. The Dominique. Boom, we're gonna use this one um, because it's very like pretty much my skin, my lip color. Um, I don't normally do my lips on like camera because I don't really, I'm not the biggest fan of my upper lip because it's so like thin. Um, and it's kind of one of my insecurities. And you know, with everybody and their big old luscious lips, I don't have that. So I don't normally do a lot of lip products. I kind of resort to like, skin tone glosses love me a skin tone gloss um because i'm not like really good at overlining my lips i feel like it looks very fake sometimes all the times with me uh so i don't like to do it we finished the lips honestly i probably would have gone with a more pinky lip color but honestly i'm kind of low on lip liners and i need more so uh, we just went with this one i think i'm going to do a little wow factor guys and i'm gonna go throw a really cool wig on and i will be back in just a second Okay, guys, this is my, hey, this is totally my real hair when I don't feel like actually styling my hair for videos. Um, but yeah, guys, let me know what you guys think about this look. Honestly, this was just a really chill get ready with me um, to try to get used to filming again here because it is really nerve wracking to come back. So I appreciate anybody who stayed and hung out with me. Let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see here. Seriously, I'm going to be reading the comments. I'm going to be replying to you guys. I want to know what you guys want to see. Do you want to see more tutorials? Do you want to see behind the scenes of me doing my live streaming? Do you want... Let me know. Let me know. Um, but I really appreciate you guys hanging out with me. And I will see you in the next video. Be sure to follow me on my TikTok at Ashley Mateo Official. My Likey, which is the verified one. Follow that one. We have a new app called Pococha. That is my new streaming app. Um, my name is just Ashley Mateo there. Insta is Ashley Mateo underscore MUA. I'll probably just link all that below. So please go follow me on my socials linked below. And I will see you guys next time. And until then, bye!